we've got breaking news right now. WBTV has learned the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation is investigating claims of excessive force used during an arrest by Lincoln County Sheriff's deputies. The news comes days after a WBTV investigation first exposed concerns about the arrest, including the concerns from one deputy who was on scene. My supervisor grabs him by the throat um, to the point to where it's firm enough to where I hear an audible struggle, and I'm like, holy crap. WBTV Chief Investigative Reporter Nick Oxner broke this story Monday. He's live now in the newsroom with the latest on the timeline of this investigation. Nick, this is a major development. An SBI spokeswoman confirmed to me today that District Attorney Mike Miller asked the agency to start an investigation on Monday into allegations of excessive force. That's nearly a week after the SBI first sent its report to the District Attorney, but just one day after I asked the DA why he hadn't already requested such an investigation. This is Barry Green's mugshot from the night he was arrested in late May by the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office, charged with DWI, assault on a government official, and resisting a public officer. Tyler Thompson was the deputy that arrested Green. He says he had to use force to get Green in handcuffs, but that he stopped once Green was in custody. But Thompson wrote in his narrative of Green's arrest that things changed when his sergeant, Joe Sutton, showed up. You saw your sergeant put his hands around the neck of a guy who's got his hands cuffed behind him. It was his, it was his right hand, and it was enough to where I heard, heard an audible struggle come from the individual that was handcuffed. While the deputies were taking Green to get checked out by medics, Thompson wrote in his report that Sutton pushed Green into the ambulance, where he landed face first. His face is already injured. We, at this point, he's in handcuffs, he's in our custody. We gotta take care of him. He's gotta get medical attention. Why are we causing more? Thompson was suspended for one day because his supervisor said he improperly used his taser during Green's arrest. Sutton, the sergeant who reportedly choked and pushed Green, was suspended for three days. But then Thompson was fired last Wednesday, one day after he called the State Bureau of Investigation. Thompson's report to the SBI is detailed in this email, obtained by WBTV through a public records request. You call the State Bureau of Investigation after you learn no one else has. Yes. And your supervisors at the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office find out about this. Yes. And then you end up fired. Within 24 hours, I was fired. Does that feel like a coincidence to you? Uh, it's not a coincidence. It's not. The emails show an SBI special agent contacted Lincoln County District Attorney Mike Miller the same day he talked with Thompson. But as of last Friday, the SBI said Miller hadn't authorized an investigation. That changed on Monday, the SBI now says, after WBTV started asking questions. I took an oath. And the oath isn't to protect bad people in the bad acts they're doing. Now, by law, video of Green's arrest is secret unless a judge orders it released. Well, I'll be in a Lincoln County courtroom tomorrow morning asking a judge to do just that, even though a lawyer for Sheriff Bill Beam has already indicated his department will oppose release of this video. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Nick Oxner, WBTV, on your side. Nick Oxner, we know you'll keep us posted on the status of that investigation. If you want to see Nick's entire report and what his investigation has uncovered thus far, just look for this story on WBTV.com. The public is getting a first look at video showing the violent arrest of a Lincoln County man that's been the subject of a week-long WBTV investigation. Don't ever, ever fucking threaten me again. This is the video the Lincoln County Sheriff didn't want you to see, showing a sergeant choking a man whose hands are cuffed behind his back. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner was the first to uncover reports of excessive force from this arrest on Monday, and today he went to court to have this video released. Nick joins us now in studio. Nick, what was the reaction after the video was released? Yeah, Alex Molly, after opposing release of the video today in court, Sheriff Bill Beam issued a statement saying he welcomed the video coming out. Tyler Thompson, the deputy who was fired after reporting his concerns about what you just saw in that video to the State Bureau of Investigation, told me he's glad the public can now see what happened.
I'm glad it's coming out. That was the main goal out of this. That was Deputy Tyler Thompson's reaction Friday morning after a judge granted my request to have video release showing what happened the night he arrested this man, Barry Green, charged with DWI, resisting arrest, and assault on a government official. Hang on. This is Thompson violently taking Green into custody, dropping him to the ground and punching him in the face, all before tasing him. The injuries in the mugshot were caused by my use of force, but that was force that, in the moment, was reasonable and necessary to effect that arrest. Thompson called for medics to treat Green for his injuries after he was in handcuffs. While they were waiting for medics to arrive, Green got in a shouting match with Thompson's supervisor, Sergeant Joe Sutton. Too bad I didn't do a fucking thing, dickhead. Now, I ask you what your name was. You can either tell me or not. These are the moments before the video shows Sutton putting his hand around Green's throat and holding it there for seconds. And don't ever, ever fucking threaten me again. You ever touch me again? You hear what? Don't you ever threaten me again. And it's that moment that prompted Thompson to call the State Bureau of Investigation. Go ahead. He was fired by the sheriff one day after reporting his okay, concerns to the uh, SBI. Why was Deputy Thompson fired one day after he called the SBI? Because he had an additional use of force. He was terminated for excessive use of force. Excessive. He knows that. Would you release his termination letter, sir? There's not such thing as a termination letter. So you didn't outline the reasons for his termination in writing? He was told directly. In talking with WBTV Friday morning after a judge ordered the video released, Lincoln County Sheriff Bill Beam explained why he hadn't responded to our previous request for comment for this story. Sir, why won't you answer our question? The video, I think, is going to speak for itself. It's going to speak for uh, Officer Thompson's actions on the night you have him quit. On that point, both okay. Beam and Thompson, the deputy he fired, agree. Now the public can make their own decision in regards as to what happened. They can see what I saw. Sit down. Oh, okay. Stand up. Now, the force shown in that video is now also the subject of an investigation by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. District Attorney Mike Miller stalled that inquiry for nearly a week until I started asking questions as part of my investigation that began on Monday. Molly? A former sheriff's deputy and sergeant are facing charges tonight for this violent arrest of a Lincoln County man last May. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner first uncovered this incident last summer. Now his reporting prompted an investigation by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. That ended today with two men being charged. And Nick joins us now live in Lincoln County with more on today's developments. Nick. Yeah, Jamie, former deputy Tyler Thompson charged with misdemeanor assault inflicting serious injury. Current Sheriff Sergeant Joe Sutton charged with simple assault. Both these charges stemming from an investigation by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation that Lincoln County District Attorney Mike Miller had blocked until my investigation last August. You're not gonna walk away from her. These are the moments before things turned violent on the night of May 28th when deputies followed Barry Green to his driveway, okay. suspected he'd been driving while intoxicated. And this is when Deputy Tyler Thompson got him on the ground and proceeded to punch him six times in the face. The video shows he tased him, too. Eventually, Green is cuffed with his hands behind his back, sitting on the tailgate of his truck waiting for medics to arrive. By that point, Thompson's supervisor, Sergeant Joe Sutton, had also arrived on scene. Things escalated between Green and Sutton while Green was still in handcuffs. Too bad I didn't do a fucking thing, dickhead. Now I ask you what your name was. You can either tell me or not. Green, in cuffs, talks back to Sutton. And then this happens. And don't ever, ever! Fucking threaten me again. You ever touch me again? You hear what? Don't you ever threaten me again. This is what Green looked like after he was arrested. Thompson defended his use of force in an interview the day the video was released last August. The injuries in the mugshot were caused by my use of force, but that was force that in the moment was reasonable and necessary to effect that arrest. Stop. Get your... Stop it. Stop it. 
of the charging document, charging Thompson with uh, assault inflicting serious injury, actually gives more details on Barry Green's injuries. It says he actually suffered broken bones in his face, among other injuries. That's, again, from being punched repeatedly. Now, Thompson, we should note, was fired one day after calling the State Bureau of Investigation to report Sutton choking Green while in handcuffs. Meanwhile, we just confirmed minutes ago with a spokesman for Sheriff Bill Beam that Sutton, the sergeant, also charged today, still employed at the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. For now, reporting live in Lincolnton, Nick Oxner, WBTV, on your side. All the late-breaking details tonight. Nick, thank you.